Hey there, I am back today with another Cards TV video 3D project. Um, I was in Florida for over a month, so that's why I haven't been making any videos. Um, so I'm back to the cold. Came back way too early. Because now we got snow. Went from 80 degree weather down there to now minus whatever it is. And snow, 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 and I hate the cold. So... Anyway, that's where I've been. So now I got my project. It's the Cards TV 3D project. It is for St. Patrick's Day. Create a treat box or gift bag for St. Patrick's Day. So I got my paper laid out. I'm going to make a little box like this. And um, my measurement is 11.743 by 10.471. I made it bigger than, I stretched it out. Other, I made it different than what it came out to on the page. I stretched it out because I wanted it a little bigger. So, um, and it is um, from the Silhouette store. It's number 65729. And let me go ahead and push the button and get it started. Okay. Okay, and we'll unload it. And let's push this out of our way here. Okay, so here's the cut. Get that picked up. We'll pull this off here. And there's the mat. It made the uh, fold lines and the cut lines and the scallop. My paper is um, got a little texture on it, so I put that side down so when I fold it up, it'll be on the outside. So I'm going to use your bone folder, go on the lines, give them a nice good crease. This way. And this one. And this way. Okay. So I'm I didn't have a good decorative paper that was heavy. So uh, I just made this, this, and then I cut out some pieces to go on it. I just measured the width here, which was four and a half, and I measured here to get a general idea. And I did, I did the same with the sides. I'll put the measurements down below. So I'm going to go ahead and stick these on. Oh, I want to ink the edges, but these are going to go here like this. Give it some color. Like so. And use my ATG. Oh, nope. I've got to do the ink the edges here. There we go. I just have some old Stampin' Up! blocks that I didn't, I just uh, changed them over to the, um, for the acrylic block. So I just put some Velcro on here and bought the little squares and stick them on there. And I'm going to use the Tim Holtz Distress tea dye. If I can get it open. And then ink the edges. Oh, 
And this is just paper. This isn't cardstock. It's just the paper. So it's really thin. tell you it was really hard to leave Florida. We went to Fort Myer for five or six days. I can't remember what it was. And then we went to Key West for I think it was four weeks. We originally was only going to be there for two weeks but um, a spot opened up so we were able to stay longer. We take a travel trailer down, pull the camper, which I really like to do because then you have all your stuff with you. You don't have to pack and unpack. You got the camper already done. So it makes it a lot nicer. And my husband has a little blow up boat. I forget what it's called. Um, I forget what it's called. It's got a little motor on the back. So we took that out into the, I guess it was like a bay, a little bit into the ocean. So it was a lot of fun. Then we had some friends actually come down and join us, stayed in our camper. They flew down and just out of the blue, we were on Facebook messaging. They're like, oh, I wish we could be there. I was just like, come on down and Next thing I know, they're like, okay, we're coming down. So, we hung out with them. A couple different couples that we boat with at Lake Cumberland. And then there were some other people down there that we know from Lake Cumberland. They go down every year for like three or four months. So we met up with them. So we had a really good time. It was a lot of fun. This is our third year going, but we never really had anyone to hang out with, so that really made things a lot, really different. Oh, we had another for another couple come down from Lake Cumberland. They actually live at Lake Cumberland. I forgot they had they had planned their vacation down there, so they were down there too. So we joined up with them. So we had a really great time with all our boating friends, and. Before we left, we booked two months for next year because we were like, just wasn't long enough. There's so much to do down there. You never, you know, there's never, you never get bored. There's so many places to go and see, go sit on a beach. Go take a boat ride. They got bars and restaurants and shopping. I mean, they just have everything down there. So, you really don't have to leave to go anywhere or do anything. But a lot of people do. A lot of people just drive up the Keys. Like our one cup friends have a motorcycle. So, they, the ones that are down there for like three months, they always take off on the motorcycle and go up the Keys and do different things. So, I'm going to go. So, I'm going to um, do the edges of this too. Give it a little something there. But the paper's so plain. Okay. Now there was something else I wanted to do before I stuck this on. I wanted to stamp it because once it's on there, I'm not gonna be able to stamp it. So I'm gonna use the Happy Days stamp from the Happy Days set. And it is going to say, um, Happy St. Patrick's Day. Because believe it or not, right here, this is the only St. Patrick's Day stamp I have. So I need to get with Mary and order some St. Patrick's Day stamps because I have one. I just never realized it. So, uh, where's my block? And I'm going to get my little block. We 
are going to stamp both sides. And I'm going to get some green. Let's see. I think I'm going to use, let me check this color out. See if I like the color. Yeah, I think that should be good. Let me check one more. Yeah, I think I'll use this one. This is Memento Cottage Ivy. And I'm going to stamp Happy St. Patrick's Day. Get my little mouse pad here and put under it. And I'm going to be putting the shamrock on here. Got one for each side. So I want to figure out where I want to put that. I'm going to put that there. Stamp this right. Let's see if I need to turn it a little bit. Okay. Maybe I'll put it over here. Yeah, I'm going to put it down here. I'll put this here. Stamp this down here. That's much nicer there. Okay, and we're going to do the same on the other side. Let's see. Let me get my practice one here. That's going to go there. That's going to go there. Okay. Put that right there. Stamp it again. Again, again, again. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to keep that out because I want to ink the edges of these. I'll have the number on the screen of what number these are because I don't remember. I forgot to look it up. But they are in the uh, Silhouette store. There was like five different shamrocks in a group. So that's where that came from. And um, I think I should do that before I put it together because once I put it together it's hard to glue everything onto it. So let me ink the edges of this. I have this little jewelry organizer thing or craft craft container. But I have all my I have a couple blocks here and all my uh, these things. They remind me of pool cues. And my makeup sponges that I use and my Stampin' Up sponge that I use and extras of these. So that keeps them all nice and neat and I keep them kind of color coordinated. So then I could just go, oh here's a green and pull it out. And then I also, for like my, um, like for my Tim Holtz ones, I put Velcro this, I don't have it on this one yet, but I put a little bit of Velcro on the bottom and I stick that on there so I always have the right color with it. Okay, so let's ink this up. This has a white core, so I wanted to cover that up. Get down in there. And I'm going to pop this up on foam tape as well. So it stands up. Yeah, we got another snowstorm last night. Some of, um, it's crazy. I mean, two hours away, hour and a half away, like where Mary's at, actually. They got a ton of snow, and we got two inches, and they're farther south than us. They have been getting slammed this year. We got a bunch of ice last night, and then it turned to snow. And of course, my niece was 
praying school would be closed and when she went to bed they only had a two hour delay. So Abby, if you're watching, hi. She likes to watch my videos. She's, oh my gosh, how old is she now? 11, I think she's turned 11. Okay, there's that. Um, where's my foam tape? Cleaned my room up today, so I gotta figure out where everything's at again. Because I move things around, reorganize, and trying to straighten up because things are just a mess. You know, you'd start just throwing here, throwing there, pile it there, pile it there. Okay, and I want a couple of buttons. I have a bag of buttons, but I don't know. I want these. I just came across these. Cleaning up. I left them out. Think I may or may not use them. Yeah, I like the yellow button in it. That looks good. Definitely bigger. Let's see. A couple different ones won't hurt. That's too big. I I got this. I think I got it. Big Lots. Bag of buttons. It was last year. It's the end of the year sometime. Mid Middle of the year, maybe. I try to stay out of there. I try to stay out of all the craft stores lately. because I have Too many cool things. I need to use up what I have. Since my room is overflowing. I think those two will be good. I think those will be good. Now we need some floss, floss, floss. Where did I put that floss? I'm gonna use twine instead. My bucket of twine. My mayonnaise jar full of twine. Yellow or green. This is a mess. I just grabbed a bunch of this and took it to Florida with me for my craft so I'd have some in case I wanted it. I just brought it home and stuffed it in there. So, now I gotta find the end. Let's see here. There's an end. I see a. Nope. Oh, I can use that. That'll work. Okay. I'm gonna go here next to it. Okay, there we go. Okay, all better. Okay. And we're just going to tie a little knot in that. Okay, there's that one. Now that won't cut it. I'll use this. Snip and snip. That'll be there. This one just has two, so I think I can use this short one. The scrappy piece. Perfect. Okay, all better. Trim that. Okay, where'd my foam tape go? Here we go. 
Um, let me get a little dab of tape here. I kind of wanted it to pop up a little bit. I think I'm just going to stick it in the center. And kind of bend the edges up a little bit. The same with this one. And I'm just going to put this right in the center. Okay. Now let's put this together. Or no, let's glue this on here. We gotta glue these on. This is a shiny paper. Buttons on staying on. That there. Let me get the glue dot. Okay. Well, now my glue dot won't even stick to it. Let me rub that off. It's kind of like rubber cement, the uh, zip dry is, so I'll just rub it right off there my glue dot on there. Yeah, it's not sticking. It doesn't like that shiny paper and button. Okay, well, see, crafting is never perfect. Okay, now we want to put glue on these three, four sides, three sides. I'm going to use ATG. Flip it over and flip these in. Just line it up with your edges there. Stick that together and then just pull this up and pull this up. And then get your bone folder. Just go in here and go over where you glued it. And there's that part. And let's see. Okay, and I'm going to stuff it with this shredded stuff. I get a lot of those monthly boxes like uh, like um, pop sugar and stuff like that. It always has stuff in it and I do not throw it away. I have a giant garbage bag full of different colors. So we got that in there. Um, I don't have gold coins. I haven't been in the store in forever. 
Got a couple little candies. I'm just going to toss these in. Little Ghirardelli minis. So I'm just going to stick those in there. Some coins would have been cute. But with all this crazy weather we've been having and the cold, I'm just like, I'm not going out. I have a stocked freezer. And sent the hubs out to get some stuff. So I didn't have to. Since he goes out to work every day, he can stop. So there's that. And I'm going to take this off here and use this. This is my trial, my trial one to see how it was going to work. So let's see if I can get this through here. I wanted to do it. I think I want to do this. Let's see if we can get a bow in it. I think I'll tie it like this. Wow, I just can't tie a bow or something. Okay, there's my bow that I apparently can't tie very well. Okay, and there's the box. I think it's cute. It's got little goodies in there and I decorated the sides. You can still decorate these too. You could put stuff here. There's a lot you can do. And for the shamrock, I used die cut with a view shimmer stack and for this yellow paper here I used recollections recollections cardstock paper all season so it was all different things for different months Christmas it's like all the all the holidays in it spring summer winter fall so there's that and I hope you can come and join us over at Cards TV and um, enter your project. You can go to my blog. I'll have all the information there for how to enter and the dates. So thanks for stopping by. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks for stopping by. See ya.